My name is James Dennis, and I'm the state director for the Pennsylvania chapter of the March of Dimes. The mission of the March of Dimes is to improve the health of babies by preventing birth defects, premature birth, and infant mortality. As part of this mission, the March of Dimes chapters across the country have been advocating for states to expand their newborn screening programs to include 29 core treatable conditions recommended by the American College of Medical Genetics and endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics. Currently, Pennsylvania lags behind all other states and the District of Columbia in screening newborns for the full panel of treatable mel metabolical disorders which is detected early may be effective in sometimes simply preventing the death of our children. Failure to detect and treat these conditions early, however, can result in millions of dollars in treatment costs, in some cases exceeding tens of millions of dollars. Newborn screening is vital to the health, healthy activity that is essential for preventing such devastating consequences. It is our goal to ensure that every newborn in Pennsylvania has access to life-saving screening as early as possible. To this end, the March of Dimes is working, to, working hard to secure enactment of the Newborn Child Testing Act, House Bill 883, to expand Pennsylvania's existing newborn screening program to include the 29 core recommended treatable conditions. Senator Jane Ory and Representative George Kenney are the sponsors of this legislation. They, along with Senator Ted Erickson, have championed this measure to ensure the health of our newborns. Thanks to their efforts, our legislation was approved unanimously by the House and the Senate Public Health and Welfare Committee and is awaiting action by the Senate Appropriation Committee. Also joining us today is Hall of Fame quarterback Jim Kelly, the former Buffalo Bills, who led the Bills to four consecutive Super Bowl. Jim was born in East Brady, Pennsylvania, and will share his family story, which has inspired him to become an advocate for newborn screening. At this time, I am honored to introduce Senator Jane Ory and Representative George Kenney. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. One, I'd like to say as an ardent Pittsburgh Steeler fan, and I hope they forgive me, I'm standing here with a man that I truly admire and respect for what he has done, not only on the field, but off the field. So it's an honor to be here today with him. And uh, I would like to say, and I know um, Representative Kenny will speak to you, but uh, I think he has been just a true champion on this legislation. And it's an honor to work with him on this. And I would be remiss as well not to mention Senator Ted Erickson, who has moved this legislation in the Health and Welfare Committee. It's in Appropriations Committee. And with the advocating of, by uh, Representative Kenny and myself, hopefully we'll be seeing this passage very soon, perhaps before the budget. So um, <laughs> Uh, first of all, I, I want to thank uh, Jim Kelly for joining us and offering his support to this legislation to expand newborn screening. As I stated, he's, a, he's been a stead, steadfast supporter of this effort and has helped not only to bring it to the forefront in Pennsylvania, but across the nation. Jim founded the Hunter's Hope Foundation in honor of his son to increase awareness about newborn diseases and to raise funding for research and treatments and cures. Thanks in part to that foundation, newborn screening legislation was signed into law by President Bush on April 24, 2007. The bill created national standards by expanding screenings of newborn babies and by authorizing a grant program to expand the funding to state and local agencies. Before these national efforts, Jim Kelly and Hunter's Hope Foundation first worked on their state level at New York. Mm -hmm and help New York increase the number of newborn tests to cover 45 diseases. At the time of Hunter's death in 2005, New York tested for only 11. Currently, the legislature is considering George Kenney's bill, House Bill 883, which would require all Pennsylvania hospitals to screen newborns for a total of 28 new genetic con conditions that are serious but treatable if caught early. The legislation establishes a program, track results, and supports treatment facilities across Pennsylvania that would provide the treatment to newborns who suffer from genetic conditions. 
This legislation will secure a healthy start for almost 145,000 babies born annually in Pennsylvania. A simple heel stick and an inexpensive lab test allow us to screen for newborn conditions in the first days of life to detect many genetic or metabolic disorders before any symptoms begin. Failure to identify these conditions and change the diets of our newborns leaves them at risk for permanent brain damage, coma, or even death. And according to the Department of Health, the average lifetime medical cost for a child can exceed more than $1 million. Treatment, on the other hand, can be, simply, can, can be as simple as change in diet, and for some conditions, the parents may feed the newborn every few hours, not allowing the child to sleep through a regular meal period. Other conditions may require less protein, more fat, to provide sufficient calories for growth. Each and every baby born in Pennsylvania deserves the opportunity for a healthy start. Newborn screening is vital public health interest, and it's something that we can detect with early identification and treatment for infants affected by metabolic, hormonal, genetic, and functional disorders. It's time for Pennsylvania, which is one of the, I believe, one of the only states that ranks dismally in regards to what we're doing with newborn screening. And as this governor champions health care for Pennsylvania, there is no better bill that addresses this issue and shows that 